So today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Basically, we're going to be looking at some red noses. Now, what do I mean? Let me tell you. In the UK, we have a celebration known as Red Nose Day, as part of a larger charity called Comic Relief. And since the late 80s, there have basically been a, a whole day known as Red Nose Day, where you'd get a series of charity fundraiser-based events, typically televised and typically with the aim of raising awareness, raising money, charity, through the kind of lens of comedy. And one part of these days is something known as the Red Noses. Obviously inspired by your stereotypical clown nose, they would produce and sell these red noses that you were meant to wear on the day and around the time period, and a certain amount of the money from the red nose sale would go towards the ongoing charity stuff that was happening. And, well, whilst they started out as quite basic and just clown-like, uh, over the years they got very, very interesting. And... I kind of wanted to take some time to talk about and show you them. Let's start with the first nose I've got, and in fact, the first nose that I will be able to remember. Red Nose Day 2003, the big hairdo nose. This is the first Red Nose Day that I actually remember, 2003. And here is the design of the box that the Red Nose came in. And I actually have a story about this particular Red Nose Day and this particular nose. See. I was in nursery at the time, I would have been about four years old maybe, and I was too young to really know that a Red Nose Day was even happening. And for some strange reason at my school, only kids who had a red nose were allowed to go into the Red Nose Day celebration assembly at school. Uh, like some kind of bizarre charity apartheid, I was being discriminated against due to my lack of comedy nose. And so I just had to stay behind in the uh, in the nursery room uh, with a couple other kids and just, I don't know, eat the dry pasta or whatever else you do when you're in nursery. Um, and I think, I think knowing, knowing that I was missing out on something kick-started this fascination. So, what do you actually get? Well, it's called the Big Hairdo Nose. As you can see, you get free hair gel, which is pretty cool. And something that confuses me about this on the bottom it says, comes with real hair and a really weird pop-out eyes. Awesome. About as real as Austin Powers. Right. That's obviously dated things a bit, hasn't it? Um, now, <laughs> what I don't quite get about this is, it's not just saying about as real as Austin Powers, as in the character, but there's an apostrophe there. So, it's saying it's about as real... It, it, it seems to be implying that Austin Powers' hair is in fact... The, the fake thing? Is it ever implied that Austin Powers has fake hair in the movie? I don't recall. Uh, on the back, obviously, it shows that 70p from the sale of this £1 nose will go to the uh, to the charity, and it recommends that you can use it as a mini bank. And if you look on the top, there is, in fact, a little coin slot so that you can collect money and take it to the bank and say, please pay this into the Red Nose Day account, please! Um... <laughs> Uh, interestingly, the character for this one was designed by Ardman, of all people, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, so, let's see what we're working with. There's the nose, we'll get back to that. And the red hair gel, oh my god. This hair gel can be used for your nose, amazing. And in this little plastic thing, god, it looks kind of like a... <laughs> It looks slightly terrifying like this, kind of like some sort of, yeah, red-faced Ardman murder victim. Victim. I'm really good at speaking today. Let's get it out, and here we have it. Now you might notice his eyes. They're a little bit strange. This one had the jelly pop-out eyes that are meant to, well, they're, they're meant to, yeah, like that. You're meant to squeeze the back and it comes out. But as you can see, time has not been kind. And sadly, now the eyes are kind of decaying, and I might have even just made them a bit worse by doing that, so whoops. Uh, this is the sad fact of these these 2003 noses, is that they, they tend not to survive that well, because the eyes, the eyes rot away, and it's so terrifying. It's got this lovely flock of red hair for you to style, and many, many kids did use the hair gel to style their nose hair. There's going to be a lot of strange nose puns in this video, and most of them will be accidental. 
but not all of them. So, very nice, very cool. Uh, pretty solid gear for a nose. And obviously, I did not get one. I was discriminated against for my lack of awareness of charity as a four-year-old. Fantastic. Now, let's move on to the next year. So, after having missed out on the uh, charity festivities of the previous Red Nose Day, I was determined that for the next Red Nose Day, I wanted a red nose. So I told my mom, I said, please, please, please get me a red nose. And I remember coming home from school and she presented me with a basic sponge clown nose. Sadly, despite her best efforts, the red nose had sold out everywhere. Which red nose, you ask? This one. I don't know why, this was just a really popular year for noses, and once again, I was missing out. And I tell you what, I was really missing out, because look at this. Also with face paints, red hair gel, and stickers. What the f what the hell? Alright, let's get it open, because there's probably not anything that interesting on the box. Um, oh, if you type in this code, you'll get some R&D ideas. Right, okay, cheers. There is the nose, we'll come back to him. But yeah, look at all the crazy goodies you get. First of all, you get these stickers, which you can use to customize your nose. Oh my god, one's starting to peel off, and also they appear to be maybe rotting slightly, which is great. But yeah, customize your nose. Incredible. You get the hair gel, which appears to have mostly deflated over the year. That's interesting. Um, and you could do your hair with it. Crazy. And... Face paints, amazing. Basically, everything you need for Red Nose Day in one box, and it's only a quid. And the nose itself. This is this is a classic, iconic nose. Uh, it's a lot like the one from the previous year, but as you can see, it's got it's got a brighter face. It hasn't got rotting eyes, um, and it's got the new stretchy, multicolored Kush hair. Uh, Kush, I think, is like a Hasbro. It says on the box somewhere, like um. Hasbro for the Kush hair, and I don't know who the fuck Seymour Powell is, but apparently they designed the nose, which is weird because it looks almost identical to the previous year's nose. But yeah, I really like this nose. It's probably mainly nostalgia talking. It does kind of have that 2000s character, creepy nose and eyebrows type thing going on. But what an amazing year for charity festivities. Look at all this. Amazing. However, having missed out... I was once again determined. This year, for 2007, I would get a proper red nose. That's what I wanted. And I managed to get one. I was so excited. I couldn't believe it. I finally got my own red nose. And it wasn't going to be a bloody clown no- Oh. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, like some kind of cruel prank on my childhood self, this year, they just went for a sponge clown nose. <sighs> Thanks, guys. Okay, the angle they came with is that this is the nose that grows. Incredible. Basically meaning it's uh, kind of in this semi-vacuum sealed container, and if you take it out, it will get bigger. And they try to market that as a feature, but that's it's just packaging. It's just... That I don't get jazzed. Well, actually, no, they still do that. Those bloody mattresses YouTubers are selling. Wow, take it out and watch it inflate. Amazing. Let's bring that back into shot, because we're not done yet, because... There was more than this, just this nose. You still got stuff with it. Sadly, I don't have the box, but I'll tell you what I do have. Somehow, everything else that came with it. You got stickers. Amazing. Uh, once again, I think the intent was to customize your nose with these, but since it's like a sponge clown nose, it, they weren't really that good. It didn't really work that well because the stickers wouldn't stay on and they'd wrinkle and they'd fall off and... It just, it didn't compare to the previous year, but they had something slightly more exciting. They had Choco Picks. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the fuck is a Choco Picks? Well, it was chocolate with a picture in it, and somehow I actually have one. I, I didn't even know I still had this until the other day when I just checked in the box, and lo and behold, there it was. Um, this isn't mine from back in the day, I bought this a, a few years after the fact, but still, I've had this for over 10 years now, and yeah, as you can see, they produced these lines of squares of white chocolate, which had different characters on. There were Doctor Who ones, and there were also some Wallace and Gromit ones, 
There might have been other ones, I'm not sure. But the gimmick with the Choco Picks, uh, which it doesn't say on the back, I thought it would, um, is that they were kind of engraved in a way that if you held them up to light, it was shaded and it kind of gave the impression of maybe a photograph or at least a kind of watermark type effect. And I'll show you now. It doesn't work quite as well now because the chocolate has dried out massively, but if I get a little light going... Oh my god, it's David Tennant in all of his chocolate glory. Look at that. It's like he's really in the room with me and made of chocolate. I love it. <laughs> so, you know, not a bad year. But 2009 would be the year that changed everything. Noses got real different here. So in 2009, we didn't just get one nose. We got three. Yep, sadly, gone was the uh, the fun little boxes that you could repurpose as a little money container collection unit. But we did at least get three different designs of nose, now in this kind of shrink wrap design. And they came with... Oh my god, excuse me. Oh, I'm being attacked by a nose. If this video is jump cutting a lot, it's because I am struggling. Now, this year, I was slightly disappointed by the uh, the lack of box or any real things with it. But they did. they kind of came with... You got a joke book and you got some stickers... It was fine. It, it wasn't that exciting, but it was okay. However, my biggest problem with this year is that what are these designs? I just think I think these are the ugliest noses they've ever produced. They've got, they've got these creepy beady eyes and these massive teeth and it's, and it's just sort of... Oh, I don't know. I don't really... I didn't like any of these guys. Um, so admittedly, I was kind of disappointed with 2009's red nose. No face paints, no hair gel, no chocolate with David Tennant's face in it, and instead, a series of creepy faces. So, the three red noses were apparently such a success that, in 2011, they did it again with the three monster noses. And these, I think, are quite a bit better. Um, the one downside to them is no stickers. You, you only get a mediocre joke book this time, which is, is kind of, um, yeah, that's a shame. But at the same time, I think these are quite nice. I really like the detailing on these. Uh, they've got this really nice kind of fur texture all over them. I think the faces are pretty good, pretty, pretty nice. You've got a little pirate guy. Um, they always go with the theme of uh, smiley glasses and then just other for some reason. Overall, 2011, not a bad year for noses. Uh, it's a shame that you're losing out on, on the cool stuff you used to be able to get with them, but the designs are quite nice. 2013, let's get to it. So once again in 2013, we continued with the theme of three noses, but we had some really interesting developments. First of all, these were the Dinos. Excellent. Um, and number two, now they have feet. In fact, they were the nose with toes, meaning you can stand them up and they're a little bit nicer and kind of more like a collector's item. I really like these noses. Sadly, I don't have the third one. He was he was my least favourite, admittedly, of the three. Uh, but yeah, these are my two from actually back in the day. And they're just quite lovely, aren't they? Really lovely texturing on them with all the all the scales and stuff. Uh, I think really nice, cute designs, and and dinos, dinos. That's just, that's a great pun. How can you go wrong? Um, well, I'll tell you where you can go wrong. I'm pretty sure these came with nothing. It was just the nose, and that's all you're getting, and that's kind of a shame. But nevertheless, they're quite nice. I do really like these, uh, and it was a pretty good year for noses. So, 2015. This is when they really started getting interesting with the noses because they went for blind bags. Let's take a look. I've got five of them here. So, boop, boop. You have to make the noises, obviously. Boop. Oh my God, I'm doing a really good job of this. Look at this, how exciting, how exciting. So yeah, suddenly we went from having just three noses to choose from, from having a total of nine. And sadly, I don't have them all, but yeah, this year, I think a great year for noses. Not only were there a ton of really fun designs to get, but I think the blinds bag angle was a, a really fun way of kind of revitalizing and reinvigorating them. 
sadly, you still didn't get anything with them. It's it's just the noses at this point, but they're all really quite lovely, I think. Um, the designs I've got include this kind of professorial type. Um, I, I'm sure they've all got funny names, like... Uh, well, actually, let's name them right now. Albert Einschnoz, um, uh, thief, nasal thief, um, Count Draculose, the Karate Nose, and Astronose. That's probably the real name for that one. Let's be real. Um, <laughs> so yeah, those are their official names now. They've got the feet now, so you can actually pose them on the shelf and let them stand up. That's really nice. Uh, I say pose, you can't actually, it's not articulate. Oh my god, he's just left. Um, but yeah, I think really nice. Sadly, the uh, the spaceman has kind of gone a bit yellow over time, which is a shame because I think he's probably probably my favourite, or at least one of my favourite, and now he looks a bit a bit strange. But either way, very cute designs. And, and just a lot of fun. These things don't stay up very well. Let's move on to 2017. Right, so, 2017 continued in the same way, with the whole blind bag thing. And here are some of the designs we got. So, a sort of nurse, uh, or I guess doctor, you know, Dr. Schnoz. Um, the first female doctor is Jodie Whittaker. And yeah, um, that's what this one's pretty cool. Pretty nice, I like it. We also have... Elton Schnoz. I'm I'm still making these up. Um, but yeah, a sort of DJ, DJ Schnoz man. Again, very cute. Um, Norse Nose. Now I actually remember the name for this one because he looks great. Awesome design. I really like this one. Norse Nose. Great nose. Who knows? Um, dog. S uh, Snoopy. Kind of Snoopy esque design. Uh, I really like this guy as well. Dog Nose. You know. And, um, Owl. We've got an Owl. That's pretty good. I like that one too. Looks pretty great. Pretty cool. And again, another really great one. The Mummy. And he, uh, he is kind of, um, he's not gone as yellow as the Spaceman. So that's, that's quite a relief. Because again, these white ones, it's really cool just to see the, um, I don't know, the nose is, is such a different colour with such a different design. I think it's really neat and I really like it. Now, um, I'm pretty sure with these years as well, they had certain rare noses. And I, I don't remember what they are off the top of my head, but quickly I will put a bunch of graphics on screen to show what we're missing out on. And then in 2019, they went for a similar kind of thing again, except we got the boxes back. Holy hell. They're also now 125. I, I can't remember when they went up to 125, but interestingly, with at least 65p going to Comic Relief, that's 5p less than the 70p they got in 2003. So what's going on there? I was very happy to see the box back. Um, as you can see, we actually get to see uh, the different nose designs that are available. Honkus Ponkus, that's great. Snufflekins, the Conk Jester. Yeah, yeah, pretty great. Apparently, you could build a castle with your red nose box. Which I have done. <coughs> it looks like this. I don't know if I've done something wrong here, but I, I don't see how the roof, like, you've got these two bits for the roof, so, like, how else? How else is this meant to be assembled? Um, <laughs> it looks shit. It's really not that good. It's just a box with some stuff printed on it. But you know what? I appreciate the effort. Oh. Ah, okay. I didn't know they did that. I guess... Bloody hell. They did. I didn't even realise this. Well, they would have had to produce loads of different box prints for the uh, each nose that you get on the inside. That seems like a bit of a waste. Guys, stop fucking around printing, like, put the extra 5p towards charity, not towards creating a custom bottom for your nose. Oh my god, I'm dropping noses. Right. Let's have a look at the ones I've got. Oh my god, my foot has actually completely gone to sleep. I'm trying not to sit on, oh my god, there's noses all over the floor. I'm trying my best not to sit on them. So let's look at some of the noses we've got for this year. There's Honkus Ponkus. Not bad. Pretty nice nose, can't lie. 
Uh, there is the nose, a gnome nose, kind of obvious, pretty good, you know, not a bad one. Uh, from this point onwards, I think they start getting a bit, a little bit stranger. Uh, the, ab the abominable nose, this one's pretty good, again. Uh, very nice design, nice detailing, I like the white. And, um, and you've got these two, which are a bit, they're a bit menacing. Uh, I don't know why there's, um... Something's happened to Snufflekins's nose uh, or face. It's kind of gone a bit stained there, which is that's a shame. Uh, I like the crown a lot though. That looks great. And then you've got um, this guy. Now, whilst I like these noses, they're still pretty good. I find their faces a bit unnerving because um, when you look at like the previous year's nose, let's take this little karate fella. You've got these nice, big, round, expressive eyes. They're very kind of, they're very cute, very aesthetically pleasing, um, for example, as well. And then these with their, their giant, kind of unnerving, thousand-yard stare pupils. They, they're a bit creepier than the 2015 and uh, 2017 noses. So, not, not fully keen on that. Um, but, you know, they're still pretty nice, it's still nicely sculpted. The fur isn't as good as, um, as previous years, but it's a pretty decent nose. But, all things have to come to an end. And in 20... 2020? Or 2021, I think, we saw the sign of things to come. This is the year they switched to paper noses. And this is the one that I have. <laughs> So yeah, um, paper noses, it makes sense. I understand why they do it. Less waste for the environment and all that, it's, it's fine. It's a fine decision. But it does take some of the fun out of it, doesn't it? Um, it feels a lot more cheap and disposable, which I get is kind of the point. But if you're like me, and you kind of enjoy collecting these things, it's a... It, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. What I think is way worse, though, is the design. What the fuck is this? I know it's a giraffe, but A, why would you take something that's meant to be round and try and make a giraffe design? It, it means you have to take this weird compromise of basically making it a vaguely giraffe-textured spherical blob with a creepy neck piece kind of creeping out from the base. It's... And then just, just the face, man. The face. Those staring, piercing eyes with that thousand-yard stare. Like, you know, we thought, we thought this was bad. This is so much worse. Just look at it. Look at it. Yeah, from that point onwards, I stopped collecting the red noses. And to be honest, I probably made the right decision because... Whilst Red Nose Day has moved to be in every year, rather than every two years, basically, um, in recent years, the noses have kind of gone to shit. <laughs> in 2022, or I think 2023, the nose was this god-awful, like, fold-out, concertinaed, like, like a, an elaborate Christmas decoration for your bloody face. It looked terrible, and you had to buy it from Amazon, they're partnered with Amazon now, and it was just like... No. And this year, I think the designs are, are slightly better. They've got some wildflower noses, which, you know, they've got wildflower seeds, so when you plant them, they grow wildflowers. That's nice, I guess. I mean, it's not as good as Honkus Ponkus. Uh, you're not getting anything with them. They're more expensive now. You have to get them through Amazon, and you don't even get face paints. Red Nose Day, it's not what it once was, but hey, I enjoyed it whilst it lasted. And I've gotten some pretty cool red noses. Well, he's he's all right. He's fine. Uh, let's find let's find some good ones again. Oh my god, uh, this guy he's pretty good. I like him a lot. Um, this guy this is good. Um, let's get these ones in there. Yeah, they're really good. Uh, I may as well just uh, we're probably making the thumbnail right now, aren't we? Let's uh, yeah, let's just get a bunch of fucking guys going. <laughs> right. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I enjoy talking about the red noses. And just celebrating this this weird little slice of, I guess, British culture from my childhood, which seems to kind of have basically disappeared at this point. But you know, 
We made some friends along the way. And that's what matters most. Thank you.